it's Abby, and I am back with a new magical blind box video. We are coming down to the end. This basket's still pretty full. I think we have maybe two more episodes and then we'll do the big D stash where we open everything. But before we dive in, I have a request. I want to rename magical blind box. What we do will probably be exactly the same, but I've lost count of numbers, I used to number them magical blind box number or whatever, but I lost track and I feel like it's hard to keep track of like the series as it is. So I want a new name for 2023. So if anyone has any suggestions, please leave them down below. So we have a bunch of these Splatoon ones because I put actually a full box in here so I'm just going to grab like two of those. Please excuse my dogs. Let's grab some of these like little blind bags. These are fun. I got these Final Fantasy 14 blind boxes from my secondhand store. And I think they may have been opened like from the bottom, but I don't know what's inside them. So I grabbed a few of them. Um, I guess I grabbed all they had. I don't know if I got three or four, but let's open one of those today. See what's inside. Should we open a mini brands? I kind of want to save the remit. We don't have many big ones left. Maybe grab some of these. BT21 Cookie Charm Cot. Let's grab one of those. Uh, we want a variety. I don't know what this is. Disney Acrylic Sticker. Random 8. Okay. Ooh, let's open one of these. We opened one last time. It was really cute. That's 8, so maybe two more. Maybe a mini brands? I think there are a few in here still. And then I'll grab like a few random gotchas. Okie dokie. Let's open. Alrighty, let's see what we have here. This is the Series 3 mini brands. I think there's some newer ones out now. Some gotchas. And blind bags. Let's start with the Splatoon blind boxes. Here's the first one. I think we opened one last time, but they are weapons from Splatoon and Splatoon 2. It's like a combination. I think they're just reproduced ones. I hope they make one for Splatoon 3. I know they're still announcing new weapons and stuff. Are you guys excited for the new season? I've been trying to get a group together on my Discord to play Splatoon. I've kind of been all over the place too, but maybe... Maybe next month we can do more gaming together. That would be a lot of fun. It is the Splattershot Junior, but it's pink. Comes with stickers, and I want to use these stickers. I got a little miniature locker at the dollar store a few weeks ago, and I want to decorate it and make it look like a Splatoon locker. Let's open this. Ta da! Stickers. And then here's the stand, and then I think I need to do this break them apart. Whoops. There we go. Here it is. It's a Wakaba Shuta. Definitely from Splatoon 1 because I have never seen a Splattershot Jr. that looks like this. It's a water gun. That's cute. Let's go ahead and open the second one. There are eight different weapons. I think we got the... Squiffer? 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 I forget what it's called. Last time. Ooh! Here we have the splatter shot. Splatashuta. And I think this is from one too because the splatter shot I used does not look like this. I like the colors though. The stand and the stickers. Break this off. Probably would be better to use something to cut it nicely, but this works. And here it is. Good old splatter shot. I think it goes this way. Yeah, definitely goes this way. Ta -da! Whoops. What's new? Me dropping stuff. Oh no, the little tag. Oh, here it is. Just making a mess. Dang. Alrighty, let's open this gacha next. It looks like it is another cake in a box. It's a matcha azuki roll cake with a little chick in it. That's so cute. For a while, I was obsessed with matcha flavored, green tea flavored stuff. But then after a while, I think I had too much of it. It started tasting like grass to me. So I only like matcha in small doses and every once in a while. Is that the last one? Have we seen all these? Next month when we do the de stash and organize, we'll try to get all of them together. Next, how about we check out this um, Final Fantasy Minion Mascot Volume 2. And it was 220 yen. I think originally this is like 700 yen or something. I remember it being a bit pricey because I looked at it when I was in Akihabara, but it was just a little bit too expensive. I was like, mm, they're cute, but not that cute. So even if it is secondhand, it's kind of exciting to find it. It's cheap. Let's 
actually, I don't know if the bottom's been open or not. It's kind of hard to tell, but the way it's taped, I feel like it has. I don't know. Doesn't really matter. Here we have a Ketoshi. Um, I must say, I'm not familiar. I play Final Fantasy XIV, but I'm not sure who this is. Oh, they're little finger puppets. Cute. Well, hopefully we'll get a variety when we open them up because I would like the Paisa. Baby Moss is cute. We want the Koroboku. I forget the English names. A carbuncle. Definitely. And Tomberi. Why don't we open this next? It says it's a Disney acrylic sticker. I think this might be from when I went to the Donald Duck Cafe, but I thought I kept all that stuff separate, so I'm unsure. We'll see. If it is, it's just a teaser because I have other lime bags from when I went to the cafe in June. <laughs> I need to edit that footage. Jung. Oh yeah, it is Donald. I don't know how I got into this box, but it's a sticker of all things. I thought that was interesting because usually you'll see acrylic stands and keychains, but I've never seen a sticker before and honestly, I don't know what to put it on. What would you guys put it on? Maybe I could make a phone case with this. That would actually be pretty cool, huh? Also, this design is super cute. I think there were like eight to ten different designs. I don't remember, but yeah, um, I actually have more, not of the stickers, I don't think, but I have more Donald Duck blind bags. So please harass me on Discord to make that video and open them soon. Next, let's open the BT21 cookie charm. Oh, I guess I got this at Hobby Zone. 242 yen. And we have opened a few of them before. I keep saying I'm gonna learn all the character names, but I have not yet. My friend Polymomoti has a good video for the BT21 mascots though. He made them all out of clay, I believe. I'll have to watch that and learn. So this is not food. There's 15 different ones and we got Jung Koya. Is that how I pronounce it, Koya? I think we got the heart version of Cookie last time. I love these style charms. They look like a real cookie, like they're textured so nicely. And it looks like icing. Let's open this trading acrylic mini stand from Nick. So this is a dollar store one, but I've lately I've been so impressed with the dollar store stuff. Really good quality, nice variety. And this is obviously Sumiko Gurashi. If any of you are visiting Japan, make sure you visit a Daiso and a Sedia. Sedia has a lot of fun stuff that Daiso doesn't have. It has like more kind of nerdy stuff and crafty stuff. Ta-da! They're all together with little stars. It's really cute. Let me put it on the stand. Here we go. That's adorable. I think the film might still be on it actually. It's quite satisfying when you peel it off. Should I try to collect a full set of these guys? Since we're on the topic of Sumiko Gurashi, here are some deco stickers. I always enjoy these. I've never really collected collected them, but they're fun to open and then I like putting them in like stationary swap packs. It's just a little something extra to put in. And they're good for journaling too if you need to take up a lot of space. Here's the first one. They are Sumiko Sushi. And then here's like a camping or outdoor one. Look at the little otter. And then here's like a ocean mermaid theme. So there's three stickers in a pack. Those are a lot of fun. I like those. Next, why don't we check out the Sanrio character custom acryl, ac acryl, akuriru, acrylic charm. I think I opened the other packaging. There were like two different ones and we got pom pom pudding, was it? This is kind of hard to do from this angle, but I think I got it. Let's open it up. We want kuromi. We always want kuromi. I don't think there's a wish me mal. Oh, it's purple. Oh, I don't think it's Kuromi. I see something else. Jam! It's Tuxedo Sam. So this is like a shaker charm, but you can open it up and add in like little beads and embellishments, which they sell at the Sanrio store, but I feel like I could make my own and decorate them. Maybe after we open all of them, that'll be like a little fun project to do. You know what? This Tuxedo Sam design's really cute. I love the colors. He's singing on a stage? That's kind of what it looks like, right? I thought we'd grabbed another gacha, but I couldn't find it. So we're going to go ahead and open the mini brands. Series 3. 
I feel like these sets are impossible to complete because there's so many. We'll be going through those when I do my D stash. How do you guys store or keep your mini brands? I know they have the like play sets, but I don't think I want to display them like that necessarily. But they also have the collector cases too. Those are nice. I honestly wouldn't mind crafting with them, making like little... I don't know, I've seen people making earrings with them. That's like... Doorbell rang and the dogs are still going crazy. But anyway, what was I saying? I don't remember, but let's open this up. I always struggle with this. There we go. I think it's because it's old and the rubber may have melted a little bit. Okay, let's grab this one. You are the chosen one. Oh, we have a box of Kool-Aid Jammers, like a Capri Sun. I don't know if I've ever had these. I have not had Kool-Aid in forever. That is not a brand we have here in Japan. Next one. Oh, stovetop turkey. How appropriate. It is turkey season, isn't it? Stuffing mix, that sounds good. I've never had that. Is this yummy? I love stuffing. I think mashed potatoes and stuffing are probably my favorite part. Of course the turkey, but I am more of a ham person, I feel like. Lunchables! Is it just me that wants to open this? I think it's just a sticker though. Ham and cheddar. This looks yummy. This capsule's making me hungry. I haven't eaten yet. Oh, ah! Chippa chops. We had a discussion the other day about how to say this correctly, and apparently, I didn't even know this, they say it differently in the UK. I think it was the UK and like America. But let me know in the comments down below how you say it in your country. Chupa chops. Wait, I forget how they say it in the UK, but anyway, I say chupa chops. Chupa chops. Chupa chupa chops. That's how we say it in Japan anyway. You got me all confused now. Okay, last one. I hope this isn't a shelf. I think it is though. Does it always come with like a basket, cart, or shelf? Oh, it's not. I guess it doesn't then. Here we have dum-dums. I used to be obsessed with dum-dums. I would get like the big pack at Costco and I, I don't remember if I ever finished like a whole pack or not, but that was back when Costco just opened in Japan. And I was like, oh, American candy. So I think we got pretty lucky today. Good variety. Was it Chupa Chups? Is that how you say it? Chupa Chups? I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> that's what I got today from my mini brands. And I think that brings us to the end. We opened quite a few today. I'll be back with another one next week and then we will have the final D's dash. But don't forget to let me know your ideas for the new Magical Blind Box. Maybe I should turn it into a contest. Would that be fun? I could have a winner with a prize? Oh, maybe hold on to your ideas then. I'll see what I can think of. But anyway, thank you so much for watching this. If you do have ideas or requests for next year's Magical Blind Box, let me know because I will have to go shopping and we'll be filling up a new box. But yeah, thank you so much for supporting me this year. It's been a fun year. We still have more to come. I'm, I feel like I'm saying goodbye for like the end of the year. But anyway, I'll see you all next time. Bye. Hey y'all, it's Abby and welcome back to a new episode of Magical Blind Box. Today, let's pick out some blind boxes to open. I wanna open this Disney one. Got this a while back. Let's open a washi tape one. Actually, let's open two washi tape ones. And do, 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 do. how about this shaved ice one? This one looks cute. And hmm, shall we open a remit? We haven't opened one of those yet, so let's grab that. And I'm gonna grab a few gotchas. How about we open one, two, and three? Here are today's blind boxes, blind bags, and gotchas. Let's, mm, where do we dive in? Let's save the Sumiko Gurashi one for last. We always save the best for last. Ooh, little shaped ice. Disney one. This one is a good one, but I think I'm gonna start with it. So these are mailboxes from around Tokyo Disney Resort, both theme parks, land and sea, and they're little mini replicas and you guys know I'm obsessed with anything Tokyo Disney, and I'm just really curious what the secret one is, so I'll be happy with any of them, really. I didn't get a full box or anything, so I'm just gonna have a few, and it's gonna look cute. You know what would be fun? To put this on the side of, like, a Sylvanian family. 
house or calico critters. Oh, here we go. Let's see if I can identify this post box. It says Tokyo Disneyland. I'm gonna say Tomorrowland. Look at that. It even opens and closes. Wait, can I put mail in here? What happens if I put something in? Because there, it looks like there's a little slot. Does it just stay in there forever? I think it does, because I don't think it opens. And if you put something in there, it's going to stay there. I think I have one more of these, so we'll be seeing another one. Maybe we'll find out what the secret one is. I took a little peek, and it looks like we have two of the same gotchas. Not same, but same series. So let's just open them together. It's one of the Lipton teas. This is the apple tea. This one may be one of, one of my favorites, my favorite. It's a seasonal one. I believe it comes out in the fall. And then this one. is a large milk tea. I think we got this size milk tea last time. So now I have the one liter. I think this is 500 milliliters. Let's open them up. Ja -ja! I'm gonna have to go to the kombini and try to find the actual ones. I think the peach tea might be out now, which we got a few videos ago, I feel like. I love these. Something about food miniatures. Actually, any miniatures. And also washi tape. So this is from the dollar store. There are six different designs of this Sumiko Gurashi tape. I think I grabbed three of them. The packaging looks really cute and I think the design is just, oh no, it's not. They're all different designs. They're the different Sumiko Gurashi. So maybe we will try to collect a full set of these. What do you guys think? Jung. Oh. Okay, how long is this tape? I'm gonna guess like a meter or two because it's... Oh, it's three meters. That's actually a decent amount of tape. So here's the pink one. Looks like it's polar bear. And I guess I'll wait to swatch these until I feel like I'm done collecting them so they can all be together on the page. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I collect washi tapes and I have a swatch book. If you wanna check that out, you can see it's not up to date, but most of the washi tapes that I own. I really love that they're doing washi tape blind bags. Here is a My Hero Academia one. There's six designs with the different characters. I really like Todoroki. I need to catch up on this anime though. It's really good, but I think I'm halfway through season four. So I'm quite a bit behind at this point. Jung. Oh, we got, who is this? We got All Might. And I'm so bad with names, but it looks like a lot of the teachers, right? Can you guys see? It might be easier to look at the packaging, honestly. Looks like... I think I got this one at the bottom. That's cool, and I really like that they're not repeat designs. It's worth collecting for sure. Maybe we'll do a dedicated washi blind bag video, because I would like to see all the designs together. Let's open the kakigori! The... Shaved ice. I couldn't think of the English word for a second. Um, one. The little bear one's cute. I used to have this one, I think. And, well, maybe not this exact design, but I had a polar bear one. And this is like the traditional one. And then we have just different companies. I think these are actual, yeah, actual little replicas from like Tiger and all these companies that I don't know. This was 550 yen at Hobby Zone. I get a lot of questions asking where I get my blind boxes. I live in Japan, so... I just, I get them randomly. You can find them pretty much anywhere. There are like dedicated stores that have these, but you can just go to the toy section and they have a lot of different ones. Even the candy aisle in the supermarket. Okay, here we have Mizore, the most boring one. It's basically just syrup. But it is a swan shaved ice machine. Let's open it up. This is where I get way too excited. It, I mean, you can just pull it up and down, but... Does that mean you can put the ice right there? We're gonna set this up. Looks like it comes with ice. I really need to set up another camera angle, but for today, I'm doing it like this. So the ice can go like this, clamp it down, and then you have the bowl underneath, of course. And then here's the ice. Sorry, I was out of focus. I'm getting too excited. And then 
the little tiny, tiny spoon. Oh my goodness. So tiny. It is shaped. Oh look, you can even see the blade on the bottom. That is cool. And then, where is it? The little bottle of syrup. Mizore. So this is basically just sugary syrup. There are different ones. They're all very artificial looking. There's a strawberry, a melon, I think. Is it in this lineup? There's a strawberry one. And lemon, green tea. I usually get blue Hawaii. I want to get more of these now. I want all the syrups. Moving on, we have a gacha here. I'm going to guess it's pom pom pudding. I think it's another sleeping series. Last week we got a really cute sleeping anime figure. I won't spoil it in case you haven't seen it yet, but this week, oh look at these, oh look at the little cinema roll. I feel like I bring this up in every video that I see Pum Pum putting, but did you guys know that he's a golden retriever? And did you know that cinema roll is a dog? A lot of people call him a bunny, but he is a dog. And Pum Pum Pudding. Golden Retriever. The real question is, does he have a butthole? Jiang, he does. They know. I love that it's not just flat on the back too, it has this little tail too. So a little chubby sleeping figure. That is adorable. I hope I have some more of these in the box because they're gonna look cute as a set. Last but not least, we have the Sumiko Deribari. And this one, I thought they looked okay standalone, so I just got one. Remints I usually do like to get as sets, and if you guys like remints, let me know. I would love to get back to opening full sets of remints. I kind of really haven't been able to justify it, but if you guys want to see them, I could buy a set or two. There are so many cute ones out there right now, so please leave a comment and tell me to buy some. <laughs> Anyway, it looks like there are different types of foods. We have a hamburger set, a sushi set, ebi katsu set. Oh, that's cute. Tonkatsu is delivering that one. And we have a pizza set, a fish curry set. Interesting. And ice cream set. Honestly, I would be happy with any of these. Character-wise, tonkatsu is my favorite, but I mean, aesthetic-wise, the blue ones are kind of cute. Or the burger one. Or the sushi one. I don't know. I feel like I'll be happy with anything. Oh, what is this? Oh, it's a sticker. Oh no, I got a spoiler. It said what it was. Did you guys see that? It is pizza delivery. Oh, that's cute. It's like a little Tomika. You know what? I said I didn't need a full set, but this is another one that I would be okay going back and buying a few more, even if it meant doubles. Okay, so the real question is, it opens. Okay, okay, okay. Let's open this. Little pizza box. <laughs> and then pizza. Why does it look like it has cucumbers on it though? Because Penguin likes it? Oh, it's Penguin question mark. So he's a kappa that lost his little dish on his head. This is the story, I believe. So I guess it's cucumber pizza. I don't know how I feel about that. Here's a little penguin. Penguin question mark, that is. Slide the pizza in here. Oh, fits quite nicely. And Penguin is on his way to deliver it from. And it looks like there are little stickers to put on it. Oh, I already messed it up. Oh, I th is that backwards? I don't know. <laughs> I think it is. How am I supposed to know that? Oh, I guess maybe I should have known that. I don't know. Whoops. It is what it is. You know, we're just we're just giving it a little bit of original flair. I didn't mess it up. It looks fine. It looks great. Not backwards at all. I'm not sticking out of the edge. It's fine. Eat your pizza. Anyway, that is a super cute remit. I love that they are doing different ones. I was sad at first they weren't doing their like miniature sets all the time, but the little, I guess you'd call them dioramas, little terrariums and stuff, those are really cute. But anyway, that brings us to the end of today's video, and we got some cute stuff. Little shaved ice machine, lots of fun miniatures, little milk teas, and a picks box, whoops. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And if you would like to talk to me off of YouTube, I do have a Discord, the link is down below. And sometimes I stream on Twitch and my other channels, so if you would check them out, follow and subscribe, that would mean a lot. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!
Hey all, it's Abby. Today I'm back with a new magical blind box video and what do we think of the setup? I added in one of the shelves from my last haul video and I tried to make it a little more colorful. We have some Disney, anime, Sanrio, Final Fantasy going on. We're just gonna mix and match. It's gonna be, it's gonna be fun clutter. And I'm probably gonna be changing this up quite often. As you can see, it's a lot of recent stuff that I've gotten because I didn't go up to my toy room yet. So I just used what I had around my office. But yeah, let's dive in. Finally, we're going to be opening the Swing Kirby Remit blind box. I've gotten so many requests for this. Some Animal Crossing gummy blind bags. Some Spy Family sticker blind bags. Three Disney gotchas that come in these little boxes because I got them from a vending machine. And four gotcha capsules. Whoa! Just a reminder before I open the first one that members do get first pick on what I open in my next videos. We have a secret Discord channel in my server, which you guys should join even if you're not members. We have a lot of fun talking about toys, games, crafts, and a lot of things. Anyway, let's dive in. I actually don't really remember what this is. There is a tag on it. I kind of wish they wouldn't do that. I love when it's a mystery. Remember, it's the little sleepy Disney series. These are cute. Let's put it together. Let's see. We have the base here. I'm gonna assume the cushion goes on that. And then this bit probably goes here for the little mobile zangly part. We'll put Mickey on here. He just kind of lays there, but it does fit in. They're little grooves. A little rainbow. We can rotate this a little bit. Ja -ja! That's super cute. I think this one's shelf worthy. What do you guys think? How about here for now? I normally wouldn't peek, but these both say sleepy too. So I'm gonna assume they're doubles. Let's just open one. Oh, it's Minnie. Cute. Yeah, we didn't look at the lineup. I think it's in the bag here. So let's take another peek. I can't remember if there was a Donald in this set or not. Let's make the base first this time. Looking good. Such a cutie. I love that we got Mickey and Minnie. That's cute. It looks like little dangly bits of cloud, maybe? We'll put Minnie here with Mickey. Can you guys see it? Yeah, you can see that. Oh, that's so cute. Here's a peek at the lineup. There's Mickey, Minnie, Chip, and Dale. I'm so glad we got a pair. How about we open a gotcha next? Looks like this one could be kind of summery. Looks like an inner tube. Oh, it's the Pokemon one. It's Sobble. Are any of you going to be playing Pokemon Scarlet or Violet? I'm going to be honest. I probably won't. I haven't been playing through the recent ones. And I have, I have such a long list of games that I want to play. But I remember when they announced Sobble, I was so excited. There we go. Ja -ja! Here is Little Sobble in an inner tube. This series is so cute. I love it. Maybe we'll let Sobble live on the shelf until summer's over. We are kind of running out of space though. Might need to put the other acrylic stand in here. Let's push the cupcakes back a little. Here, Sobble, you can live here for now. How about we check out the Spy Family stickers next? I have been so obsessed with Spy Family lately. I actually went to a game center the other day to try and win the Anya Kuposket. And I went, it was like eight in the evening because I knew they had restocked it that morning. So I thought, you know what? I'll work hard today and I'll go win Anya and it'll be a great end to the day. Um, she was gone. She was so popular. Apparently there were lines for people waiting to play the crane machine, UFO machine, UFO catcher, whatever you call it. And she was gone by 8 p.m. I was so sad. Anyway, let's check out these stickers. I noticed last time I opened one in the Magical Blind Box, I forgot to show all three stickers. I won't let that happen this time. Here's Anya. Here's the whole family. And, oh, here's the whole family getting ice cream and groceries and Anya dropping her ice cream, it looks like. That's cute. There's numbers. I kind of want to get a folder and try to collect the full set. These were 110 yen at Hobby Zone, the shop I go to for blind bags, but you can find these at a lot of different stores. Let's go ahead and open the second one. 
I think I've had too much coffee today. My hand's a little shaky. Jung. Oh, is this the same one? How many stickers are there total? Does it say 20? Hmm. This is a double. Let's see if the whole pack is. Oh, nope, it's not. Ooh, we get Yoda. So pretty. And then the whole family again. But a different pose. I'll have to find my ones from last time. Should we try to get all 20? What do you think? Leave me a comment down below. Let's open another gotcha. I need to go replenish some of the gotchas in the magical blind box. I did go on a gotcha hunt the other night and I've been posting them on my Instagram. So there is some different content over on my Instagram than what you see on YouTube. So if you'd like to see me open some random fun gotchas, I would love it if you would follow me. It would mean a lot. I'm trying to hit 10,000 by the end of the year. That would be amazing. Anyway, here's the gotcha. It looks like it's a miniature cake. You guys know me, I love my miniature food. And it comes in this cute little display case. I really like that. Looks like there's a little bunny ice cream or something on top. That's adorable. We are going to run out of space. I actually don't know where to put this. Maybe it is too much clutter. I don't know where this goes. We'll just put it here for now. Obviously, we're saving the Kirby Rement for last, so let's open the Animal Crossing blind bags. These are little gummies, and they come with little profile cards. I believe I got these at Hobby Zone, but I see them at my supermarket all the time. Jung. These gummies are actually really tasty. Da -da. Here's the card. His Japanese name is Binta. Is April 11th his birthday? Name Binta. Oh yeah, his birthday is April 11th. He's a lazy. He's a cat. And Ohitsujiza. These are, you know, not as, fan not as fancy, not as exciting as the Amiibo cards maybe, but they're so cute. I love the designs. This is another set that I'd love to collect. Let's go ahead and open the second one. Oh, who is it? Ding. It is Alang. Mm, if I were villager hunting and I saw him, I probably wouldn't take him home. His name is Alan. His birthday's September 6th. Oh, his birthday's coming up soon. He's a gorilla and he is quite scary. Wait, what personality is that? Grumpy? 32 different cards. I wonder if my favorite Blue Lorien Sky is in this set. It says there are 16 snap cards, 12 calendar cards, oh, birthday calendar cards, and four message cards. Interesting. Time to open another gotcha. It's a stationary clip. Have you all seen my stationary clip collection? I uploaded it a while ago and it was so much fun looking through my collection. Thank you for requesting it because it's good to look through my collections. Thinking maybe I'll do a sticker collection video next? Let me know what you think. Jun. I love when gotchas have cute and practical things in them. Like, clips are so useful. This one's adorable. It's a nice big clip, too. You know what? I had grabbed this to open, but I realized it's the Totally Minnie Mouse series from Tokyo Disneyland, and I have a few more of these, and I kind of want to open them together, so I think I'm going to grab them for next time, and we'll see all the different minis I got. So, that means we are opening this guy. Here's the lineup. I would like any from this side. This side? This side is cute, but eh. I think these would look cuter on my shelf. I hope we get that one. I really like the rainbow. This was 990 yen at Hobby Zone. The fancy remints are kind of pricey. Okay, let's look away so we don't get spoiled right away. This is the exciting part. Okay, are we ready? We're gonna see this together. Three, two, one, jump! Oh, I think it is one of, oh yeah, it's the number three one. I went ahead and put it together because it was just these two pieces, but is this little guy getting eaten by Kirby? Kind of looks like that, doesn't it? It's so cute. Hmm, you know what? I might actually just replace this one. I'm not the hugest fan of this one. I feel like this one goes here much better. I got this one in a past Rement opening and the design's really cool, but it's just not quite my aesthetic. I do love the swing Rements though, they're really good. Anyway, that's all for today. Oh my goodness, I just see all those wires in the back there. We'll get that cleaned up. Like I said, this shelf is a work in progress. It's like Disneyland, it will never be complete. I hope you all enjoyed today's Magical Blind Box video. I opened a few more than usual. I don't know if you guys noticed. 
I would love to keep opening more in each video. So if you guys could give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below and possibly share it to your friends, family, and on your social medias, it would help me a lot. It really, really actually does help me. And I appreciate it so, so much. Anyway, I'm going to say goodbye here and I will see you all next time. Bye! Hello everyone, I hope you're all having a wonderful 25th. Maybe it's the 26th for some of you. It is the morning of the 26th here. It is the last day of 24 days. I have my magical blind box here. I kind of sorted the contents, so it's maybe a little easier to go through. Maybe we'll try to open some of the same stuff together. I counted, there are 50 plus blind bags and boxes in here, probably like 55, 56. And I did throw in a few new ones just so it was a little more exciting because we all know at the end of the year, it kind of turns into the leftovers. I'm gonna move this and we shall dive in. Here we have the cookie charm cots. I have some BT21 ones and Toy Story. I'm just gonna dive in. We haven't opened any of these before, have we? Whoops. Oh no, we did, didn't we get Ducky and Bunny? There's Woody, Buzz, Alien, Bo Peep, Forky, Jesse, Ducky and Bunny, Ham, Slinky, and Rex. I want anything but Forky. <laughs> They really overhyped Forky here when the movie came out, and I just I just got sick of him. Oh, here's a little ramen candy. And oh, how do I open this? Oh, I didn't even need to rip it. There we go. Oh, Rex! Oh my goodness, this is so cute. It looks like real icing. Oh, this one's a magnet. I totally forgot that too. He's adorable. But can you guys see what I mean? It's textured like a real cookie. And the icing is matte. Okay, BT21, the characters I keep saying I'm gonna learn, but never do. Isn't the coconut one shooky? I think that's the only one I know, and I might even be wrong. Here we go. Oh, okay, wait, 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 wait. I know, I know who this is. Cookie? I don't know. Also, didn't we get one of these before? Wasn't it like the heart one? But they're all very cute. I love the eyebrows. It's holding a bouquet of roses? Flowers, anyway. Oh my goodness, I just realized my screen is upside down. There we go. Anyway. Here is the second Toy Story mascot. So we have Ducky and Bunny. We just got Rex today. Anything but Forky. Well, would I take Forky over, over doubles? I think I'd rather have doubles. Oh, it's Bo Peep. <laughs> You know, it, I was kind of hoping it would be Forky, but then I could complain. I don't know if I like Bo Peep as a cookie. What do we think? I do like that these are magnets though, because you can only have so many keychains. They look really good. I will put these on my fridge with Ducky and Bunny. Oh my goodness, God, you should see my fridge. It is covered in magnets because I buy magnets everywhere I go. Most of them are Disney, but I have some from like Singapore, Hong Kong, and then I have a random Cracker Barrel magnet because we love Cracker Barrel. Let's open this one. I want this big one with like all the characters. Here we go. Shooky! Okay, Shooky is the one that I do know, but I don't know which member Shooky belongs to. So we have Shooky and Cookie, is that correct? This one is textured even more than the Toy Story one. I don't know the different types of icing, but I, I've, I've watched the videos. I know there's like a really smooth icing. Whoops. Just different consistencies, right? Should we just do more BT21 since we're on the topic? I have a bunch of Kunuts. Look how many I have. Pink bag is baby BT21. Oh, so these are babies? Let's open that one first then. I think I like this set better. It's slightly cuter. I like that they have the little decorations on the body. Oh yeah, I forgot this series was coming out. The Dangoma. Daria, thank you so much! Okay, here we have... Oh, good. There's names on the back. I don't have to pretend I know. Koya. This is the koala, right? Ooh, this is cool. So the body is matte, but the head is glossy. So the concept of kunats is they're like the okiagari koboshi. 
I think is what we call them here, but they stand up and then you push them over, but they stand up again. So I have a bunch of the Disney ones and the Pokemon ones, so now I have a BT21 collection too. Let's just go ahead and open the rest. There's 14. I think I got these on sale at the supermarket of all places. It was like in the discount bin. Oh, this one's already right here. Let's pull them out. Um, wait, wait, wait. I'm trying to think of the name. It's the alpaca. RJ. I, I would not have known that. You know what? I'm just going to set them here. We're going to open the rest and we can look at them up close at the end. Oh, is this one Shooky? It is. The logo on the back's so cute too. Yeah, it just looks like a little peanut. <laughs> Are there different versions of the same one? There should be, right, if there's 14. They all have sleepy faces on here though. There's a sketch version and a dream version. Okay, so this one must be the sketch version because it's not sleeping. And that one's the dream version. Some of them have hats and some of them don't. Oh no, is this a double? I hope it's the dream version. No! Doubles! Two RJs. Two more to go of these. I really like the Kunuts. I hope they make more Disney ones. Oh, here's something pink. Is this gonna be... I already forgot. Cookie, right? The rabbit, Lenny? Oh no. Is this RJ again? It is. It's the dream version. Oh my goodness, we have so many RJs. The dream version has a little sleeping cap. Oh my goodness, I love them. Last one. Here we go. Nope, more gum. I see a yellow butt. Oh, okay, see, this is a good chance for me to learn names. Tata? Is that, am I, I always worry I'm saying the names wrong too. The dream version is so cute, the little sleepy faces. Here is my RJ doubles. Tata and Shooky. And then from the baby series, Koya. Which one do I open first? I think I've opened one of each. We got a Pum Pum Pudding and a Kuromi. These are really cute because you can customize them. I need a scissors. First one. Hang Yodong, I swear. Every time there is a Hang Yodong. I get it. I know kimo kawaii is a thing here. It's like gross cute or like ugly cute. I guess that, yeah, that's a different word, but yeah. Kimochi warui is like gross. Or maybe he's just kawaii. I don't know. But to me, he's like half fish, half, I don't know. But yeah, that's han gyodong. I want kuromi. Oh no, wait, I didn't get kuromi last time. What did I get? I got pom pom pudding. I don't remember. No! It's, wait, it's a double, but was it this design that I got last time? It wasn't, was it? It was the stage design. My memory is so bad. I remember we got pom pom pudding, but I don't think it was this little pancake one. They're so cute and they're like little shaker charms. Oh, except this one does not shake. There we go. Shaker ASMR. <laughs> okay, let's open this one. I think this is a Donald Duck one. I went to the Donald Duck Cafe back in June. I do have, like, video footage if you guys want to see it. It's not open anymore. It's one of those pop-up cafes that changes their, like, theme IP, like, every other month. I know for Halloween it was Twisted Wonderland. I don't know what they did for Christmas actually. It's in Harajuku. It's actually, it was really cool. It's my first time going. And here we have an acrylic Donald sticker. I got one of these last time and I still don't know where to put it. It might be fun to make a phone case with it. Let's open this one too. I think this is acrylic key holder. I think it's from the same series. Oh, yep, there's the keychain. Oh, it's just the logo. Yeah, this was the logo for the cafe. It was the Oh My Cafe brand. And I think they have one in Osaka and Nagoya. 
These are really good quality though, they're really nice. I've never really seen acrylic stickers before. This is a very nice summery one. He's eating a watermelon. And I think this was a new costume for him, the striped shirt. Honestly, unsure. The food was actually really good too. It was cute and yummy. Overpriced for sure, but I would go back if it was a theme that I was interested in. I think they did Aliens from Toy Story. They've done, I think they did Wreck-It Ralph. They had, I know they did Alice in Wonderland. They've probably gone through all the princesses because they're really popular here. Here are my remaining Splatoon weapons. We've opened quite a few already. This is a, what's the word? When they re reproduce them, reproduced, there we go. From Splatoon and Splatoon 2. And I think I have the Splatoon 2 set, but I don't know if they're exactly the same or different colors. And this is licensed official Nintendo. Jung! Oh, and this comes with gum too. We'll make a gum pile over here. Ooh, they're dualies! I think these are the splat dualies, right? Supuda Manuba. It's a Japanese name. I played Splatoon 2 with my game in Japanese because I couldn't change the language, but 3 I have in English. So. Whatever language I'm playing in is the language I learn all the names in. So I don't know what some of the big bosses, the new bosses, are called in Japanese. Fun fact, I can't remember things in either language. Ooh, these are cool. We need to break this off. I know how to DIY. What goes where? This is always the dilemma. See, these are the parts that you guys don't see when I post videos. I actually struggle with this for like 15 to 20 minutes. I think this one actually has too much plastic on it. Let me see if I can trim it with my scissors, which is a horrible idea. Don't do this to your scissors. They will never forgive you. Yeah, that needs to be sanded down. So that's the stand anyway. Comes with stickers, which I'm saving to decorate my little miniature lockers so I can make Splatoon lockers. I think that's gonna be really cute. Those of you that play Splatoon, what weapons do you main here? Are there dualies? I love looking at these up close. So there's the ink tank. Oh, it's really cool. It's almost like a spray bottle. I don't think we have the range blaster yet. And the Splattershot Pro? Maybe those are the two that are left? We'll see how good my memory is. Splattershot Pro! Wow, this one's really cool. It's a ballpoint pen? Oh, this is really cool. I really hope they make the little figures again too, of like the inklings, the characters. And then here's the last one. We'll see if it is the range blaster. Oh, no spoilers yet. Jung, it is. See, I can remember some things. This is so cool. Okay, there's like a can or tank on the back. I didn't realize it had like a label on it. Is this a can too? Like it's pressurized, I assume, cause it's a blaster. I don't know, but that's really cool. I'm always tempted to buy the Splatoon, the Splattershot water gun, but what would I do with it? It's so cool though. Okay, so there's the Splatoon weapons. Okay, let's see what's in these gotchas. I do see... I think that's Daniel. Oh, these are the little stationary clips. Here's this one. I think it's Dear Daniel, who is Hello Kitty's boyfriend. Little stationary clip. These are kind of hard to use though, because they open from the side. I think we have another stationary clip. I thought I opened all of these. I guess it was a larger set than I remembered. Sanrio characters two. Oh, it's because the pom pom pudding one comes with two. What is pom pom pudding's friend's name? Isn't it like macaron or like muffin? I know they have food names. So cute. It's so tiny though. So the last time we opened one of these, the battery was dead. So I hope this one works. The sound drops are so cool. I'm surprised they haven't made them for like other games. Remember when we all were excited for bug catching tournaments and fishing tournaments. Remember when we would like wake up at 4 a.m. to buy and sell turnips? 
I would pay money to play Animal Crossing again for the first time. Okay, let's see if this is gonna work. The moment of truth. It works! They all make different noises. Oh, it's two, two sounds. At least the battery wasn't dead on this one. Let's, where's the checklist? I think we've opened all of them. Maybe we'll see another one today, but I think it was, it was Tom Nook that, that was dead. Next gotcha. I see a Sanrio character. It's a sleepy cinema roll, I think. Cute, I love sleeping figures. This one, the paint job's kind of rough though. It's, it doesn't, it's not nice. It needs like a coat of gloss or something. It's like straight up paint. It's cute though. I think it lays on its side. Uh, another Sanrio fact. Cinnamon roll, cinnamon roll, cinnamon roll, cinnamon is a dog. I think I found out what breed he was a while back, but I don't remember. Here we go. What's in this one? Oh, it's one of the bread squishies. Are squishies still a thing? I still see them when I go to the store, like toy store. There's a whole squishy section, but is, is that still a thing? It's a little chick. <laughs> it's like a little makeup sponge. Squishy bread. Chikawa stamps. These are dollar store blind bags and I have opened, was it the Spy Family ones? That were, they were pretty good. They're, they're cute. I think they're good for letter writing and journaling. I got a bunch of the Chikawa ones. There's 18 total. I hope we get Hatsuare. We have Usagi. Have any of you watched the Gudetama series on Netflix yet? I really wanna watch it. It looks cute. They were doing a commercial for it on TV last night and it, it looked really cute. Okay, here is the second one. Oh, it's the weird armor dude. I don't know what these are from. I've watched the shorts, but I don't know who this is. Let's keep opening. I want a Hachiwara. Oh, Chikawa and Hachiwara. Oh, Hachiwara! And he's holding sushi? Like a takeout carton of sushi. That's cute. I love Hachiwara. I think I like his design the best. Though character-wise, I like Usagi. Oh, and we have Chikawa. So I think we have one of each. Chikawa, Hachiwara, both of them. Weird armor dude and Usagi. Let's test them out. Let's do the armor one first, because we don't care. I hope this doesn't bleed through like the whole memo pad. Oh wait, they're screw tops pink oh that's a decent stamp orange oh it's probably the color of the plastic huh oh I messed it up but that's cute there's a Chikawa one. Oh, that one's cute I bought a bunch of embossing powder back when I was into stamps and I still haven't used it I even have a heat gun there's Chikawa and Hachiwara that's cute I think we got a good assortment of colors. I wonder if there are more colors or if it's just these three. Okay, kind of hard to see, but that one's really cute. These are really nice. Okay, let's start with Denny's because someone said they were looking forward to Denny's. Here's the lineup. There is not steak, hamburger, the sign, which I don't really care for. Omuraisu, the brownie sundae, which I would like to eat right now, which I got last time as well. So don't need that. And then the little breakfast set there. Roll, soft drink. Okay, let's do this. Oh, it's the little side set. Oh my goodness, look at that tiny, tiny butter. This is basically a remit set. I think these were originally gotchas. So here is the cup with the iced coffee. Apparently you can either get iced coffee or orange juice. It says Denny's on the cup. And then here's the corn soup. We love corn soup and their dinner roll, which is very, very good. They have 
yummy bread. It would be fun to compare Denny's menus and see how they're different. Do you have Denny's in your country? Denny's was always like a breakfast place for me. Next we have the Blue Seal, which is ice cream from Okinawa, I believe, down south. Blue Seal Sunday. I think I've had it before. They have a few shops in Tokyo. It's basically like Baskin Robbins. They have a lot of different flavors. Oh, which one is this? Oh, I think it's the one with the drink. So here's the cup, the lid, a napkin, a straw, and then you can decide what you want to go in the cup. That's interesting. They should just give you two cups. So you can either have the blue drink, sorry that's not in focus, or you can have a probably basically a Dole Whip. The ice cream goes on either of those. You can add the lid. Oh no, the lid does not go over the ice cream. My bad. You can either put a straw in or have the ice cream. I mean, that's cool. You have the different combinations. But I wish they would have just added another cup. Like, that would have been the best. Good for toy photography. Okay, let's open this. I like Yoshinoya's beef bowl. I think Yoshinoya's my favorite. We have Skia, too. Skia has good curry. Oh, I think this is a double. I think this is the one I had, the takeout one. Yeah, so I have two sets of takeout now. I'm actually gonna leave it in the bag. Though, this isn't a horrible one to have doubles of. I am opening the mini brands. Let's, let's do the Disney one first. Let's open this up. Have any of you gotten your hands on the second series for Disney mini brands? I've been seeing videos pop up here and there, but I'm sure they will not make their way to Japan for a while. We just got series one. It's like series two came out and they sent all their back stock from wave one to Japan. Animator's doll, Alice. Oh, oh, wait, I think, mm? maybe this wasn't the one for the case, but this one is new, C3PO. Captain America. Oh, so <laughs> last time I called these um, Disney Infinity. They're the toy box collectibles. Don't know if I have that one. I know I have a bunch of shields. I think I have that though. Yeah. Oh, Rapunzel, definitely a double. I have like 10 of these, I feel like. Oh, oh, it's a Gold Lightning McQueen. Fancy. We always like getting a gold one. Ja -ja. Okay, let's open the other one. Unbox all new mini brands. Series three. What are what are we on now? Is there a series five out now? Or is it four? And they have so many, I wanna call them variants. They have like the toys. And don't they have like a makeup one too now? So these are normal mini brands. There's gonna be like food and like household products. I believe. Uh, I don't want to put this together. What is this? Wait, what is this? It's like a grill, a register, a scale. What is this? Oh, there's stickers. Oh, it's a register. No, this goes here and the numbers go on here. It is a scale. Oh, that's cool. I've never seen that before. It's always been like a shopping cart or shopping basket. That's fun. Ooh. Holy guacamole. Classic. No preservatives added. And the next one. Ooh. Kool-Aid bursts. I haven't had Kool-Aid in forever. My friend and I used to make Kool-Aid ice cubes. Those were good. But one time we forgot to put sugar in and they were very, very sour. Oh, Hershey's chocolate syrup. I think this is my favorite chocolate syrup. Oh, though, hot fudge. Um, Ghirardelli has a good one. What is it? Ooh, this is fancy. Mike and Ike Mega Mix, 10 flavors. I don't really care for Mike and Ike just tastes like sugar to me, but I used to like them when I was little. 
nerds, Mike and Ike. I really like gobstoppers. Those are my favorite. Okay, so this is what we got. A little scale as well. This is fun. The deco stickers. I got a bunch of stickers from my Secret Santa and they're really, really cute. So I wanna use those for journaling for sure. Sumikogurashi sushi. Sumikogurashi outdoors. And Sumikogurashi in a cafe. They're big stickers, so they take up a lot of space, which can be good or bad. Let's open this one. Jung. Oh wait, how many designs are there total? 36 total, that's a lot of designs. Ooh, I like this ice cream one. Camping and more sushi. This is like the all-stars designs, all the different sets they've had. I feel like Sumiko Gurashi is the new Rirakuma. Rirakuma's everywhere for a while. And they were releasing new plushes like every month. Okay, let's open these acrylic charms. Let's open the Chikawa one first. There are 12 total. I've opened a few of these. They're really cute. I collected all of the Spy Family ones. The, that was a lot of effort. I wouldn't mind collecting the Chikawa ones though, because the designs are so different. Well, Spy Family, I don't know, I really was into Spy Family, but I found that the designs get a bit repetitive because it's just usually the main three characters. But Chikawa, because it's like a little comic book style, they're, they feel original. Like all the different ones. I'm really struggling with stands today. What is this weapon they're always holding? It says, yeah! Hachiwara is fighting something. Next, we have the Sumiko Gurashi ones. These are cute too, but these are also ones that I feel start to get a little bit repetitive. They kind of, I don't know, they, I feel like they look the same. So here is the group. This one still has the plastic on it, but I'm not gonna remove it. It's fine. It's protecting it from scratches. There's the first one. Here is the second one. Shirokuma. Is this from the train series, maybe? Ooh, these smell not good. Very chemically. They're cute. But, I, like I said, I don't know if I care for a full set of these. I think, like, just a few is fine. What do you guys think? Which would you collect? The Sumiko Gurashi or the Chikawa? Here is the <laughs> Kanahei Sofuvi puppet mascot. Soft vinyl puppet mascot. I think these are like finger puppets. I haven't seen as much um, Kanahei stuff out lately. It's kind of all turned into Chikawa, which is kind of sad because I really like Kanahei's art. Here is, who are you? I only know Usagi and Piske. Who are all these friends? I want Usagi on the Piske car. That's cute. This is Ne Ne Neko. Let's open the sound drop because I'm curious about that one. Looks like it's the KK Slider one. I'm surprised we haven't gotten this one yet. I thought we had them all. Is KK gonna sing for us? Let's see if it works. Oh, nope. KK says nothing. So this one in Tom Nook need new batteries, but at least they're replaceable. I probably should take them out before they get all corroded and gross. Okay, next one. Oh, this is one of the milk cartons. This is a miniature food miniature it's the lemon tea i've been following um instagram accounts that collect all the tiny food gotchas and they look so good together it's like basically the japanese version of mini brands i have some of them but i haven't really hardcore collected all of them so i don't know how good my collection would look together Ta -da! lemon tea that sounds good right now actually apple tea sounds really good Oh, another clip. They keep coming. This is not cinema roll, it's like a baby one. I don't know what its name is. That's cute though. Look at his little ears. They're actually big ears, not little ears. Looks like we have some more animal bread squishies. It's the cat, Nico. I swear I've seen the cat before. Am I squishing it right? 
here's another one. Let's just open it. I think they come in different colors. That's why. I guess they didn't come with a checklist. Do you know that they um, sell bread shaped like this in Japan? There's a bakery that sells cat bread. It's so cute. I'll try to have to get. Uh, I'll have to try to get it sometime. I can't talk anymore. Oh no, this is a penguin. But it's definitely the same as the little chick. But I mean, I guess the feet are different. So this one's penguin. Squishy. These are totally makeup sponges, don't you think? Oh, this one is already open. Oh, it's the ReZero! Oh, it's Sleeping Amelia! How cute! I love Amelia. Amelia Best Girl. Actually, Beatrice Best Girl, but Amelia Best Girl. Here she is. Oh, this figure is adorable. This is the same one as the Chainsaw Man set that I got. I did see that they're gonna be making some new Katazun figures, the leaning sleeping ones, so I wanna collect those. Here we have a pocket monster. Oh, it's Momonga. Not Momonga. More, more, more pickle. Why did I call him Momonga? This inner tube set is so cute. I saw that there was a, a Leafeon, not Leafeon, Evolution one that I almost got, but I don't know. Seasonal, seasonal figures are so limited. I don't like displaying them during the wrong season. The set is adorable though. Very summery. I like Angry More Pekko though. Here we have, oh, it's a sleeping Sanrio. This one comes with a pillow because, oh, where'd he go? I think Cinema Roll is from that set too. And I found a Hello Kitty in with my mini brands of all places the other day. And it had a little cushion. So I think it's from the same set. That's cute, she leans on the pillow. It's not like this, it's like this. That is cute. She is definitely toy shelf worthy. Though, like I said with the cinema roll one, the finish on these isn't great. It's very rough paint. I'd love to give them a coat of glaze. I wanna open this one. Yoki travel around the world. I actually hadn't looked at this closely. I ordered it off their website and didn't really look at the designs. Big Ben, Pyramid, South Pole, Tori, that's gonna be Japan. The Grand Palace. Oh, the Colosseum, Great Wall, Windmill? Would that be what, Amsterdam? Eiffel Tower. There's a secret one. Do we know what the secret one is? Oh wait, <laughs> I forgot it has a pull tab. Pop Mart thinks of everything. Ooh, it's heavy. Oh, spoiler. We know which one this is. We might as well look at the card since we already saw the spoiler. It's Big Ben. Oh, oh my goodness, this Yoki's cute. I want to open it. Hold on. Oh, this is fancy. Has a lot of detail. And of course, easy to open. Okay, okay. Let's open the Yoki. Ja -ja. Clunk. Oh, look at Yoki's feet. Oh my goodness. Yoki has two different colored feet. Also, Yoki's feet look like hands. I don't, do Yoki's feet always look like this? I need to go look at my other Yoki's. Oh, Yoki has cute eyes. Does the color difference signify anything or is that just how this Yoki's design is? Okay, let's see. I think Yoki just sits here like that. That's cute. Yoki's all dressed up. Let's open the Final Fantasy ones first. I mentioned this before, but I got these second hand. I believe they've all been open because they were taped shut, but I don't know what's inside them. So they are new to me. Last time we got, wait, which one did we get last time? Oh, we got the Ketoshi. Do any of you play Final Fantasy 14? I play on and off. I need to, I need to power through MSQ. I just really like crafting in game and cooking. I like gathering. Oh, wait, what is this? I was gonna say it's a chocobo. It's definitely not a chocobo. It's a porky. It almost looks like a koala. <laughs> I really want the korobokuru or the carbuncle. I love carbuncles. I usually either play summoner or white mage. We love the carbies. Okay, who do we have here? Oh, it's the little flying squirrel, squirrel? I think it's called the Nuts Eater. Aww. This one's adorable. So these are little finger puppets, except this one's, they're cute. 
And we'll open the Sailor Moon one next. We got Mercury last time, I think. I really want Luna. Luna or Sailor Moon? Or the secret one, I guess. We always want the secret one. What kind of blind boxes should I be on the lookout for for next year's magical blind box? What would you like to see? Jung! Oh, we have Sailor Mars. Did you all watch my Tokyo Catch video? I won a Sailor Mars figure. That's very pretty. I can't wait to get it. For $5, these figures are really well made. It's soft vinyl, but it's not like squishy soft vinyl. These are really nice. Maybe I'll go get a few more of these now that I have Mercury and Mars. I feel like I should have a set. They're chibi style and like the paint job isn't perfect, but it's like a typical soft vinyl figure. I really like how these look. These will look cute on the toy shelf for sure. Let's do the Disney mailbox one first. I've opened two of these before. I want the secret one. I opened the fast pass ones in a video. I did like two full sets and those were easier to identify for me. The mailboxes are a little bit more obscure. I feel like if someone told me which one it was, I'd be like, oh yeah, that's right. I know where it is, but like this one. Like from the looks of it, oh, I don't know. I wish it said what area it was from, but yes, this is a park replica. This is an actual mailbox that is either in Tokyo Disneyland or Tokyo Disney Sea. If you can name all of these and where they are, you are a true Tokyo Disney fan. I know that one's Mysterious Island because it has the N for Nemo on it, Captain Nemo. I'm gonna have to look it up, but that's cool. I like the realistic miniatures. Here we have a clip blind box. I got this from the Disney store. Last time we got, did we get Gideon or did we get Fall Fellow? Mr. Honest John. Let's see who this is. It looks like they're different villains. I wouldn't mind getting Lucifer. I like Lucifer. Um, I probably wouldn't want Smee or Iago. But we'll see. Oh, it feels tiny. Oh. Wait, I think this is Lucifer. Isn't that a cattail? It's Lucifer! Ooh, this clip is stiff though. It's hard to use. Lucifer! It's a rubber mascot with like a little clip on it. Oh, I love Lucifer. He's so mean. These two Sanrio ones are new, but I put them into the magical blind box because, well, one, I wanted to open them, and two, I was worried that some of like the blind bags would just be like not very interesting, but honestly, I've had a lot of fun today opening what was left in the box. I think these, anyway, are real foods that they have at Sanrio Puro Land, because I know they have some of these curries. I don't know if all of it is, but one's drinks and one of it is food, so let's open the food first. They're called delivery style food mascots. These were 900 yen, 990 yen, so like a thousand yen each. Again, they're getting more and more expensive, I swear. Kuromi! Kuromi's my favorite. Well, after Wish Me Mel, but they don't make much Wish Me Mel merch. Okay, here's the chopsticks. It's kind of glued together haphazardly. The chopsticks come out. And here's the bento. Open. There we go. Okay, good. I was going to say, are the sushi all going to be like separate pieces, but they're glued down? It's a little sushi bento. I don't know. For $10, it's cute, but I don't know. This is like $5 keychain level to me. I think remints do a little bit better. This is cute though. I'm just saying, as a avid miniature food collector, for $10, I think they could have done a little bit better, quality-wise. Design-wise, super cute. Ooh, which one is this? I see a spoon. Oh, is this an- oh, it's a Pachaco ice cream cup! That's cute. So the boys are ice creams and the girls are drinks. And Pom Pom Pudding is a pudding. I'm gonna lose this spoon. Yeah, at this point, like my remands, all the dishes and stuff, I just put them separated by like plates, silverware, cups. So I don't know what comes from what set. This is so cute. I don't know if it looks like ice cream though. Like, do you guys, 
Do you guys get what I'm saying? They're cute, and the designs are very nice, but as food miniatures, I don't know how like realistic it is, because this is just like flat rubber. And then this is just, you know, plastic in a cup. Doesn't really look like ice cream, you know? I am, I am giving this harsh critique. We have the grand finale for the grand finale. This is the Sanrio Characters Magic Night Series Limited Edition. This is a huge blind box too. I think the figure is going to be pretty big. Very, very excited. I hope we get Kuromi. They're all going to be cute. And even the secret one, it looks like it's cinema roll from the silhouette. But I don't think it's like a recolor. I think it's a totally different one. Oh, okay. Good job. Ah! Is this gonna be in a- I think it's in a metallic bag. Okay, let's open this. I'm not gonna pull it all the way up because I don't want my reflection <laughs> on the bag. But here we go. Oh, can we see? Oh, it looks like cinema roll. Is it the secret one? Jan. Oh, this is a huge figure. Okay, so see? I think this was 1500 yen. Was it 1900? I don't think it was. I think it was 15. I'm gonna have to check, but like, okay. This was 1500 yen, and I don't even know where I put it. This was a thousand yen. There's only a five dollar difference. Totally better, right? This is not the secret one, but it is adorable. Oh, this is very, very well made. I actually have another one of these but I'm saving it for Magical Blind Box 2023. So it looks like Cinema Roll is a little witch or wizard. has a little teddy bear. This is so nice. Definitely worth waiting for. I have stuff scattered around, so it's not all gonna fit here, but I'm gonna put some of it here so you guys can see. I think I'm going to end it here. Thank you so much. This has been so much fun. Like genuinely, honestly, I have enjoyed this month and I can't wait to make more videos and get to know you guys more. Come to Discord, we have so much fun. We just post stupid photos and talk about random things. So I hope to see you guys there and I will talk to you all at my next premiere. Bye! Hey all, I'm back with a new magical blind box. Literally, I got a new container. It's so cute. Got this at Daiso, it was like 400 yen, and it's just this little canvas basket, and it's it's perfect. Anyway, I'm back. We're gonna open some blind boxes today, and you know what? It's getting to the end of the year. It kind of was annual tradition to empty the magical blind box out at the end of the year, so we probably have a few more episodes for this year, and then we will do the big emptying out I guess and I kind of want to make December a D stash month I was asking in my discord I always do 24 days of something something in December like I've done DIY candies I've done symptoms I've done different things but um I kind of want to do 24 days of de stashing and organizing but I don't know let me know what you think anyway I got this Chikawa mascot blind box when I was in Tokyo so we're gonna open one of these I think we should open a mini brand. I haven't opened one of these in a while. Or I mean, we've been we've kind of been opening the Disney ones. So let's do one of these. This is series three. This is from Splatoon one and two, I believe. Oh, it's a they're reproduced. And I think I have some of two. I don't know. We're gonna open one of these. Because I have a bunch of them in here. Oh, I wanna open one of these Sanrio acrylic charm blind boxes. I got these a while back and They've been floating around in here and I have been dying to check these out. How about one of these villain blind boxes? I got this at the Disney store. It was 770 yen. A bit pricey. Um, secret clip. Not gonna lie, I don't remember what these are, so I'm gonna check them out. And as always, how about I grab a few gotchas out? Next year we're gonna have to replenish this. Uh, how about these four? And you know what? One blind bag for good luck. Chikawa. Actually, you know what? We'll do two. We'll do a Sumiko Gurashi and a Chikawa one. Here is the lineup for today. Oh, and you guys may have noticed, but I this is the old camera angle. I actually had a comment, and I wanted to ask all of you guys for feedback, but I had a comment asking to return to this angle because the figure shelf, the toy shelf background was a little bit distracting. And I get that. It is quite a bit of clutter, but let me know in the comments down below 
if you like the toy background or if you like this angle better or if you think I should maybe mix it up a little bit because I do enjoy the toy shelf. I think it's a lot of fun. But let me know how you feel and we'll figure out a good setup. Here is the first one. It is a Splatoon weapon. It says Splatoon Buki Collection Weapon Collection Ikasu Fukoku Bang with sticker. It comes with gum. We're going to open this up and... Have you guys been playing Splatoon 3? I actually am kind of taking a break, not intentionally, but there's so many other games that I want to play right now. Let's pull this out. Oh, there's the stand. Jian! Oh, it is a Squiffer, it looks like. It's so cool to look at these weapons up close and see the detail. Here is the sticker. And it looks like it comes with little pieces, the stand and the squiffer. It looks like these are the parts for the squiffer. They're just little clips. I'm not sure why they're not already on there. That's interesting. It's kind of a do-it-yourself. But here it is. Does anyone main this weapon? I am so bad with sniping. Here's the little piece. Let's see if I can do this right. How does this work? And this is clip in here. That looks right. That looks right, I think. This top part needs a little bit of sanding. Hmm, I think I got it. And then I believe we have to put the little stand together too. Oof, this plastic's very soft. It might be better to cut it. There is the stand. And I'm gonna assume it goes, it goes ah, like this. See, that's the thing about this angle. It's hard to show off the pieces. <laughs> and then I suppose you could decorate the stand with the stickers, but I'm just going to keep them separate. Next we have a gacha. I think it's a little drink gacha. It's the Lipton lemon tea. I love this lemon tea. When I was in high school, my friends and I would go to the kombini and we would get the big cartons like this and they would give you a long straw and you would just drink the whole thing yourself, a liter of tea. And apparently that's kind of a inaka thing to do. City kids don't do that. But you know what? I grew up in the middle of nowhere and I'm proud of it. Also, it's too delicious to be ashamed of. Lipton Tea Miniature Charm. Did the other ones come with this? I don't remember. Here it is. This is a detailed replica. I think I grabbed two of these out of the box, so let's just go ahead and open the other one too. I did grab them blindly, but this is a green apple tea. I don't think I've ever had this one. It must be seasonal or was an old flavor that they don't have anymore. Could be that. Chung. Green apple tea. I'm trying to see if it says limited or anything on here. I don't know, but I do love their apple tea, so I bet their green apple tea is really yummy. So cute! Alrighty, how about we open this Chikawa blind box next? I have a friend that is obsessed with Chikawa, and I found these, so I got them some, but I also got myself a few because who doesn't love Chikawa? If you haven't watched the anime, just check it out. They're like little short... I don't think they're even 10 minutes long, they're just short little clips. And they're, they're adorable! Just destroying the box casually. Here we go. <laughs> Did you guys see? It's Usagi eating pizza mount. It says P. It's a pizza mount, which is like a pork bun, but it has pizza filling. It's so good. It's cheesy and tomatoey. Perfect thing to eat in the winter. Now you guys have made me hungry. So here is Usagi. Look at that stretchy cheese. And is it Usagi that doesn't talk? One of them doesn't talk, I think. I have one more of these, but here is the lineup. I really want the omuraisu one. It's so cute. Let's open another gacha. It looks like it's one of the cakes. And these are really well made. They're super detailed. They come in this little display case. And I love this set. I think this may be the third or fourth one I've opened. I'm excited to see them all lined up together, which is another reason I like doing December D stash, I guess, because I do throw some full sets in there, so it's good to see them all 
It's a chocolate cake with a little, uh, it looks like it has little flippers or fins. Otherwise I would say it's a cat. Hmm, let's look at the list. Maybe it'll say. Ja it is a, oh, it is a Nyanko. So I guess those are paws. Doesn't look like a paw to me. Yeah, I think we still have a few more to open. I think we've opened these three maybe. So it'll be fun to see the others whenever they decide to show up. How about we open this Sanrio charm? I got this at the Sanrio store a few weeks ago and when I went back, they were gone. So I think they're kind of popular. It's 550 yen and apparently you can customize these. So let's open and see what it's like. I think I got a few from two different sets and I really wanted Kuromi or Cinema Roll. So cross your fingers. Are we ready? Oh, it's looking kind of yellow, isn't it? It is pom pom pudding. I think, yeah, the little acrylic piece shakes. It's pretty cute. And then you can buy little alphabet pieces and charms to put inside. So you can customize it to be original. It's like a shaker charm, but they're all acrylic pieces. Oh yeah, see? The little layers here. That's cute. I seem to get Pom Pom Pudding a lot when he's an option. All right, this is the last gotcha for today. I don't know what this is. Oh, it's the ReZero, the sleepy figures. Who is this again? I know who it is, Ekidona? I've seen her in the anime, but I think I stopped pretty soon after. She's one of the witches, right? This is another set I can't wait to see all together because we've gotten Beatrice, Rem, and Amelia. This might be the last one. Let's take a peek. Oh, there are two Amelias. Amelia A, Amelia B, Rem, Beatrice, and Ekidona. So I think there's still one more to open. Not to spoil anything for you all, but you all know I throw full sets in there. Let's check out this villains clip. I'm sure this was out for Halloween. I grabbed it at the Disney store a few weeks ago and I haven't really been getting the Disney store blind bags because I feel they're really overpriced for what they are. They're usually somewhere between 7 and 900 yen and they're little teeny tiny straps or little, I don't know, pins and stuff so. But this one it says clip. I must have wanted it because it was a clip. Oh yeah, look at and if you don't know, I collect clips. Can we guess from the silhouette who this is? Can you all leave comments down below? I have no idea. Like, actually no idea. Those are the feet, right? I don't know, let's turn it around. Jump! Oh, it's Gideon! Okay, I would not have guessed that at all. Is Gideon a villain? I guess Gideon's a villain. Alrighty, I think it's time to open these acrylic charms. We have Chikawa and Sumiko Gurashi. I think we've opened a Sumiko Gurashi one before, but it's definitely my first time opening a Chikawa one. Let's just do it. I think we got Polar Bear last time we opened one of these, and there are 12 different ones, so honestly, as long as it's not a double, I'm gonna be happy. So I have been attempting to collect the Spy Family merch, and I got some acrylic blind bags like this for them. And I did a whole video. I think I did two whole videos. So if you want to check those out, that would be amazing because there was a lot of drama. Ta -da! Oh, look, it's Penguin. Penguin with a little tapioca dressed up as a star. That's cute. And let's see, here's a stand. I think there's some plastic on it, but it's kind of hard to see when I'm filming from this angle. So I'll check that out later. But here it is. Little cutie, definitely a new one. Let's check out the Chikawa one. I think they're gonna be kind of cute in like comic, comic style maybe, comic book style. If this one's cute, we may have to try and complete the set. Here we go. Oh. Oh, it's the um. Ah, I forget what it is. Is it? It's a squirrel, right? I got the figure for this. Oops, when I did the gotcha. Let me pull the stand out. I think this character just debuted, debuted recently in the anime. Well, I might be a few episodes behind by now, but I don't remember his name, but 
It says, Kaise! It says, give it back! It looks like they're being chased by something. These are kind of cute! Okay, maybe we will do a Chikawa acrylic stand video. Let me know what you guys think. And I'll go to the dollar store and see if I can find some more of them. Alrighty, last but not least, definitely not the least, a mini brand series three. I don't even know what series is out right now. Isn't there like a series four or five out now? Let's see if we can open this nicely. Jang. Nope. <laughs> Here we go. Now that it's open once. Eh, kind of. Here's the first wedge. Oh, here we have black pepper. I'm gonna open them all and then we'll take a closer look. There we go. Oh, Hershey's cookies and cream. I love this chocolate bar, it's so good. I actually just ran across all of my mini brands today when I was cleaning. So if we do de-stash December, we'll definitely be going through them. Chupa Chops. The best of. I haven't had a chupa chop in forever. They are pretty good. Next one. Oh, checklist. And animal crackers. Oh, animal crackers are so yummy. We can check out the list in a second. I probably should hold on to that. Oh, it's, ah, I dropped it. A shopping basket or a stand or something. I do not want to put that together right now. I have made a mess, but here's what I got today. Chupa chops. Hershey's, animal crackers, I think I have those. And then black pepper. We're gonna have to take a look together because I have a big Ziploc bag full of them. Mainly the Disney ones, but I have some other ones too. Here's the list. Oh, there's some glow in the dark ones. These are so fun. Gold, I don't think I've ever gotten any gold ones out of the normal capsules. I think I got one or two Disney ones. Commons. All the chocolate bars. Ooh, these look so good. I need to get my hands on some more of these. These are so fun. The fact that they're real snacks. I always wonder how these work copyright wise, if they got permission, if they're paying for like the licensing or what. Anyway, that was fun. I think I have another one from this series in there, so maybe next week. We'll open some more. If there was anything in the box that looked interesting to you, let me know. We did get some cuties today, and next time I'll try to open a few more. Anyway, that brings us to the end of today's Magical Blind Box. As always, it means a lot if you leave me a comment, thumbs up, or if you're not subscribed yet, please do. And if you would share this video, it also helps out a lot, a lot, and helps me keep making these videos. I appreciate it a lot. Anyway, I'll see you all next time. Bye! Hey all, it's Abby. I am back with a new Magical Blind Box video. We're going to be opening some remints. A Yoshinoya Beef Bowl Blind Box. I thought these were really cool. I think these may originally might have been gotchas. I'm actually not sure because they it is a 500 yen blind box, but I think maybe they might have been like the fancy gotchas. A few anime blind bags. A cookie magcot, magnet mascot, not the greatest name, Animal Crossing blind bag, and as always, some gotchas. Whoops. Let's start with the Toy Story 4 cookie magcot, magukotto. In the last magical blind box, we actually opened a BT21 keychain like this. It wasn't a magnet, and it was super cute, really good quality, so I have high hopes for this one. The lineup, there are 10 different ones. It's Woody, Buzz, Alien, Bo Peep, Forky, Jesse, Ducky and Bunny, Ham, Slinky, and Rex. I kind of hope I get Ducky and Bunny. They're cute. I do not want Forky. I don't know why, but ever since the movie came out, I think it was because they really hyped up the character here. I just, ooh, I'm not a fan of Forky, even though he is funny. There are a lot of good scenes in the movie. Just something about him. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Oh, I guess cutting that open didn't really do anything. Nope, that didn't do anything either. I am struggling here. Let's just cut this. And we have Ducky and Bunny! How lucky am I? Oh yeah, look. Oh, it's a magnet on the back. It's like the royal icing. Here's the one I got last week. It's a little more textured, kind of. Kind of realistic, though. 
I know that there are cookies like this with the super smooth icing. And then of course the magnet on the back. I wonder if this is a strong magnet. Here, let's. Oh, it's it's pretty strong, I guess. Hmm, maybe. <laughs> Next, let's open this gotcha. Let's peel this tape off. What is this? It looks like a little miniature packaging. Oh, it's a little mini animal bread. It's a squishy. It's a toy, po toy poodle. Here's a little squishy. It's very soft. It's called kawaii animal shokpan. Cute animal bread. It's a little keychain. I think I want to get like maybe a cork board and put all my food keychains up on it, maybe? I'm finally organizing my toy room and I wanna, I wanna clean this up too. I wanna make it nicer. So if you have any ideas, let me know. Let's open the Animal Crossing blind bag next. These have cute little profile cards in them. I think some calendar cards. Of course, it is a little gummy blind bag, so we have these yummy gummies. It's a mixed fruit flavor. These are really good. And the card. Jen. Oh, it's it's Fauna? Right, it's Fauna. I actually think she lives on my island. Her name is Doremi. That's cute. Doremi. Here's a profile card named Doremi. She is Ohitsujiza. Oh, which one is that? It's the sheep, the ram. And she's a deer. She's a normal. And her birthday is March 26th. Oh, there's a little game tip too. It says you should wrap your gifts, your the gifts you give to the villagers. You should wrap them and you might become closer to them. I like giving my villagers blue rose wreaths. You get the most points from those and I wrap them up. Next we have a Sanrio Gacha. You can kind of see the paper through it. It's one of the journal clips or stationary clips, whatever you want to call it. It's cinema roll. Oh, it's a little winking cinema roll. This character's name was Cinemo because it's cinema roll. I always call them Shinamo. But apparently the character is actually called Cinnamon, even though the series, like all the characters together, are Shinamo Roll. Though back when Cinnamon Roll first came out, I had a little bag and it definitely said Cinnamon Roll, so I wish I'd kept it. Uh, this clip's a little hard to use. It's this bottom part that opens, but you almost have to grab the ear to clamp it. You can't really squeeze the top. Well, kind of. It's, it's hard to use. Very cute though. Love the expression. I just grabbed stuff randomly from the box, but I think I grabbed another stationary clip, so let's just open this up together. And it is- oh, it's Hello Kitty! I think we may have all of them now. Oh, maybe not, actually. We'll get the lineup in a second. Jung. I think this one's gonna be a little easier to use. Oh, kind of- oh, this one goes sideways. Or, yeah, interesting. Hello Kitty and Cinema Roll. Let's open the Yoshinoya blind box next. So Yoshinoya, I would say, is my favorite beef bowl place. We have good ones like Sukiya, and I think, is Matsuya beef bowl? I've never actually been to one. I always thought it was curry, but I think they do beef bowl and like pork bowl and stuff like that too, but gyudon. Here's the lineup. There's a gyudon with like an egg and mm, pickles maybe? Uh, their shake set, that's not even beef bowl. Here is, oh, ginger and sake, reishu. And then number four is their takeout set. Number five is ochi yoshinoya. So it looks like stuff you can buy at the supermarket, like retorto, pre-cooked stuff, pre-packaged. And then the lucky item, oh, the tea, you know, the cups they use at Yoshinoya, is randomly inside. So there's five sets. I kinda hope we don't get number three because that's not really a good standalone one. But I think I have another one of these in the magical blind box, so let's open one today and maybe next time we'll open another one. Are you ready? Jung! Oh no. Oh no, it's a takeout. It's a takeout, it's a takeout. I saw the ginger for a second and got nervous. So the little the little styrofoam bowls. Actually you have Yoshinoya in the States too, don't you? The packaging is a little different, but I have seen it before. I feel like I've seen it in Singapore as well. Let me know if you have Yoshinoya in your country or if you've had it before. And the chopsticks. Oh, these are cool. They're in little plastic packaging. Teeny tiny bowl. Rice. Beef. Yum. I'm hungry. And the lid. Kind of oversized, but I guess that's how 
The real one is too. And chopsticks. I love the little logo on it. The packaging is so good. Oh wait, where's the little pack of ginger? Oh, here it is. The little pack of seven spice and pickled ginger. You know what, I'm gonna keep this in here because I am scared of losing these. I need to get little Ziploc bags to put the miniatures in. Alrighty, we have some JJK Jujutsu Kaisen line bags. They're both N Sky. This is the clear card one. I am in love with these right now. I'm kind of obsessed with them. I have a whole collection of the Spy Family ones. If you want to see me opening them, I'll leave the link down below. It's, it's a pretty good video. Feelings by family. I do say so myself. And this is the metallic card collection. So let's open the metallic card first. I'm pretty sure this is from the anime and not the movie. There's 32 different cards. We have Mahito. I actually like Mahito. He's troubled. It's a thin plastic card. I'm not, I guess they call it metallic because it has the hollow or chrome. And then the back is just black and white plastic. Number 19 says Mahito and then tells about his noroi, his curse. Do you guys keep plastic cards in sleeves too? Let's open the clear card. This is a one card line bag. Some of these have two in them. But this one's from the dollar store, so it's only one. Oh, it didn't open. I always have this problem with this one. I'm always scared of cutting the card. Last time we got... I think we got a Toge and another character I didn't really know. Oh, isn't this a student from a different school? It's number 43. Oh, it says the name, but I can't really read it. I need... You guys are gonna have to tell me. I really want to read the manga for JJK. And I probably should rewatch the anime. Season two is coming out soon, isn't it? I'm just so bad with names. I did really love JJK though. The movie was so good. I really want to rewatch it. So we got two blue haired characters today. Last but not least, we have a Pokemon Gacha. The tape is kind of old. Excuse my barking dog. And it's a little Mewtwo. So cute. I think this is a sweet series. I think they're little berries. This is really cute. This one's definitely shelf worthy. Here's the lineup. It's called Pokemon Manpaku Paku Paku Mascotto Okawari. Maybe does that mean it's a second series? Okawari means more food please or seconds please. Anyway, I think that brings us to the end for today. Got some nice cards, got some nice miniatures, some nice straps. We had a good variety today. Had some clips as well. Let me know which one was your favorite and what you'd like to see in the next Magical Blind Box video. I'll be taking requests over on my members community page here on YouTube and on Discord in our super secret chat. So if you're not a member yet and would like to support the channel and have access to some fun perks, you can hit that join button and check it out. But you can also just leave a comment down below too because I will be checking those. And I'll see you all next time. Bye! Hey all it's Abby, and I am back with a new Magical Blind Box video. I have them all in the box today. It's kind of hard to see, but I don't want to dump them all out. It's kind of a pain to put them all away. So I'm just going to rummage through here, and we're going to grab a few. There are a lot of gotchas in here, so let's just start by grabbing, what, maybe three, four capsules out of here? Hmm, and then maybe some blind boxes. I think I want to open a Disney mini brand. We haven't opened one of those in a while. And these acrylic stands are always fun to open. Let's grab a few anime ones, maybe. Actually, how about we open the Spy Family one? Season two is gonna start soon. There's some fun figures in here. I've been dying to check this one out. Oh, and let's do this Disney one. I really like these. Maybe one or two more? Maybe if we can find the rest of these My Hero acrylic bags. I think there's more than one in here. I know I have some of the washi tapes. Some Chikawa stamps. Those are fun. What all is in here? Oh, here we go. Another My Hero acrylic stand. I think I found another one. How about this Splatoon one? If there are any others in here that you'd like to see me open, let me know in the comments down below and I'll try to pick them out for the next video. Let's dive in and start opening. First, we'll start with a capsule. Looks like we have Amelia! Oh my goodness. Oh, these are the sleeping figures. Ta -da! Here we have cute little Amelia on a little cushion, it looks like. Oh, she's lying in bed. I actually was looking at a set of these for Jujutsu Kaisen and they were really cute too. 
I decided against them, but now seeing this one, I'm like, oh, maybe I do want them. This checklist is a little hard to see, but here's the lineup. There's Amelia, A, and B, Rem, Beatrice, and Ekidona. Oh no, Lamu doesn't get any love. I'm glad we got Amelia though. Next one is a Splatoon blind box. This one was actually a little bit pricey. It's from the Nintendo store in Tokyo, and they have a whole line of Splatoon stuff. And I believe this was from Splatoon 2, but they are a pair of shoes that are actually in the game. Oh no, see if I can open this without wrecking the box. So I thought this theming was really cool. There's a shoe box inside of the box. How awesome is that? So you want to keep this packaging too, of course. So cool. I don't remember what all the brands are called, but this is a brand in the game. And then look at you open it up and there's, and there's paper like it's a real pair of shoes. And ja -ja! it's a pair of sneakers. High tops. I love this keychain so much. It's so cool. Here you can take a closer look at them. They have real shoelaces. They say Nintendo on the inside. They have little tags on them. They're so well made. We didn't really look at the lineup, but there are pink shoes, the ones I got, and a mystery one. And then the green ones that are on the front of the box, and then a pair of red ones. Next one is a gacha, and you can kind of see what's inside there. It is a miniature sweet. Looks like a cheesecake. Oh, with a little seal on top. How cute is that? It's really well made too. I love the texture on it. I think we've gotten one of these before. I honestly don't remember which one, but oh look at they all have little animals on them. The title of it's so cute. Ski sugite umarimashita. I love it so much. I buried myself in it. So they're little animals buried in the sweets. I think we saved the Spy Family one to the end. So next, let's open the Tokyo Disney Sea one. This is from the 20th anniversary and they're Mickey's from the grand opening, 5th anniversary, 10th anniversary, 15th, 20th, and then a mystery one. My favorite one is 10th anniversary Mickey from Be Magical, but I think I'd be happy to get any of them. And I don't know what the mystery one is, so be cool to see that. This is gonna be in a clear bag. Da -da! Oh, oh, it's grand opening, Mickey. Wait, is this mystery, Mickey? I think it is because they're all they're all kind of faded in color, but this one has no color at all. Da -da! That's cool. It's so well made. I think these were maybe 700 yen each, if I remember correctly. So this is grand opening Mickey, mystery Mickey. Next one, you guys can see it already. We've been opening these in past Magical Blind Box videos, but it is a Animal Crossing sound drop. These are really fun. If you haven't seen these before and you like Animal Crossing, you're gonna love them. Looks like it's CJ, or in Japanese they call him Justin Beaver, Biba, <laughs> which is basically the same. It's kind of funny. Let's see what sound this is. Is that a fishing noise? Is that the sound it makes when you go fishing? This one might be my least favorite so far. It's very, very simple. A lot of them have Mm, I would say more longer sounds maybe and some have more but this one's very short <laughs> it is time for the Disney mini brands I think I only have a few more of these left and then we're gonna have to go through them we'll do a collection video maybe and see which ones I have and what I'm missing got all that plastic off let's 
see if I can do it. Jin! Oh, that didn't open very nicely. <laughs> Let's start with this wedge. Oh, looks like we have a shopping bag. I've never seen this one before. So I'm pretty sure it's new. It looks like all the Disney princesses. They all say different things. Saving the world. I've got big plans. Going places. Foodie. <laughs> and fashionably late. Next one. Oh. Oh, it's Beast. I want to say that I have gotten this one before, but... I don't know. I'm going to have to go back and watch my own videos. Let's keep going. Oh, look at that. A matching pair. Beast and Belle. What is this one going to be? Oh, something Star Wars. Oh, Darth Vader. That's a pretty cool action figure. Last one. I see the checklist in here. It feels heavy. Oh, I can see it. Can you guys tell? Can you tell what that is? It's a Tinkerbell animator's doll. It's like her eyes got printed on a little bit lopsided, maybe. The packaging, as always, is amazing, though. I think that's what I like the best about these little mini brands. They're so true to the original toys. One more gotcha, and then we'll open the Spy Family blind box. So this looks like one of the Pokemon inner tubes we have. Um, I almost said Piplup. It's Sobble somewhere. I think I might have put him away because summer's over now. But here we have Pikachu! Whoops. Let's put the inner tube together first. This should just snap together like that. Beautiful. And here we have our Pikachu. Jim. Interesting. Pikachu has a hole. It's like a pencil topper. But I think he goes right here. How cute is that? I love that. These are definitely going to live on my shelf in the summer. Now last, but definitely not least, we have Spy Family! The lineup is so good too. I mean, I kind of don't really care for Damien, but any of the others. Honestly, I really want the one where Anya is hugging Lloyd's leg. This was 990 yen at Hobby Zone. I guess they're called Puchiramas? Petite Ramas? Dioramas? Rip it open. Okay. Are we ready? Oh my goodness. I'm nervous. Jim! Oh wait, wait guys. It's the one I wanted! Let's go ahead and cut it right here. I don't know why the bag's this big. It's kind of funny. Anya and Lloyd! And the stand! Oh my goodness! You guys don't know how excited I am. I feel like I never get the one I want out of blind bags like these. This one's so good. Definitely worth a thousand yen. Oh, I love that. I can't wait for season two. You know what? The faces aren't horrible either. I mean, I guess we don't really see Anya's face. She has her eyes closed. It's so well made. I love it. Um, I totally forgot about these. Let's open these up real quick too. I have some My Hero Academia blind bags. Let's start with this one. I already have opened, I think, three of these. And they've been living on my shelf for a while. I actually just took them down the other day. But we're gonna find out who we get today. Hopefully we'll get some different ones because there are 12 different ones. Jun! Oh, we have Kachan! Kachan's one of my favorites. Todoroki and Kachan. I think I already have Todoroki. Here's the stand. Should fit right on there. Jung. Next one. Peel that tape off. Oh. Oh, I think I know what it is. It's Tsuyu Jung. I think I've said this before, but I think I'm stopped on season four? So I need to catch up, but. I really enjoyed the episodes that I saw, and I know that there's some spoilers out there. I've spoiled myself, and I'm not looking forward to it. I know there's some some rough moments out there. Next one. 
It's actually one of the reasons why my friend stopped watching One Piece because she got spoiled and it was a very, very sad spoiler. So she was like, I don't want that moment to come in my world, so I'm not gonna watch anymore. Which is kind of funny. But I don't know how realistic that is. I would rather, I would rather get on with the story. Jin! Oh, it's a double. It's Kachan. Wah wah. But we got Kachan and Tsuyu-chan. Whoops! That brings us to the end of today's Magical Blind Box. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below because it means a lot and it lets the algorithm know that you like my videos and it helps me get seen by more people and it helps me make more videos. Oh, also a shout out to my friend Polly Momo. You may know him as Polly Momo T. He has a channel where he unboxes toys. He's been doing a lot of anime unboxings lately. So if you enjoy my Magical Blind Box videos, please check out his channel. He's been uploading a lot lately and I think you would enjoy it very, very much. Anyway, I'll see you all next time. Bye. Hey all, it's Abby. And we are back with a new Magical Blind Box video. I am a little sad because I think this may be one of our last Magical Blind Box videos before the D-Stash. Always good to have a fresh start. Shall we open the Rement? Let's open it today. It's been sitting here for a while. And what else? There's some Chikawa in here. Let's grab that. Hmm, what else should we open? How about a BT21 cookie? A Chikawa acrylic charm? How about a Disney Sea Blind Box? What else do we have here? We have a bunch of Kunuts. Maybe we should open like two of those? We'll open another one of these because we have a bunch of those in here. The Splatoon weapons. And let's scoop out some random gotchas. That seems good for now. I feel like we have a good selection here today. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve things to open. That's a lot. Um, we'll save this for the end, as always. Best for last. Have our Splatoon ones, our Kunuts, and then we'll space it out with the gotchas. Why don't we start with this Chikawa Akuri Mini acrylic stand. Akuri de Stando. So, one of my newest obsessions. Well, kind of. It's one of my friend's obsessions, so like, whatever my friends are obsessed with, I'm obsessed with. So, I'm obsessed with Chikawa because my friend is. <laughs> but for real though, Chikawa is adorable. If you haven't seen the little anime or comics, you should check them out. They are very, very popular here right now. Like, their merch and stuff sells out instantly. And I think we opened one of their acrylic charms uh, in a past Magical Blind box and they were really cute. I've opened up some of their cards and gotchas, I think. And it's always really fun. So, Tang! It's Usagi. What's going on here? Is Usagi like throwing, I hope that's a plush. Put Usagi on the stand here. So these are dollar store blind bags. I've explained it many, many times, but if you're new here, um, for a dollar, these are a lot of fun to open and collect. There are 12 different designs, and I collected a full set of the Spy Family ones. I might have to do that with these. But yeah, join the Chikawa craze with me. They are adorable. Let's just, let's, let's keep up the Chikawa train. And, um, I think these were originally gotchas maybe, but recently I see them selling them as blind boxes. Yeah. This little gacha logo. So, I don't think I ever saw these in the gacha machines, so I really want the little omuraisu. I think that one would be cute. I don't really care for the keychains, but we'll see, we'll see. Let's open this up. Oh yeah, I asked you guys last time. I need name ideas for my magical blind box next year because I want to give it a new name. It's basically going to be the same thing, but I want a new name. Oh, I jinxed it by saying I didn't want a strap, didn't I? Ja, 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 ja. All the designs are so cute. Oh wait, the Omonai's one's a strap too. Oh wait, it says they all come with ball chains. Okay. So here I have Hachiwade, who's a cat. I think Chikawa's a bear, right? Then we have Usagi, who is obviously a rabbit. But um, yeah, like I was saying, you guys should join my Discord because I wanna, I wanna turn it into sort of a contest maybe to decide on a new name for my Magical Blind Box series because I think it'd be nice to give the winner a prize or a thank you of some sort. I still haven't hashed out the details though, so join my Discord. I'll probably be posting about it here on my community page and mentioning it in videos, but um, yeah, for the most recent updates, definitely join my Discord. Here's Hachiwade with a little sushi. It looks like it's Otoro, maybe, Maguro, Tuna. That's cute, that's cute. 
Let's open this gotcha next. Oh, I thought we'd opened all of these. Looks like there is another one. It's a little Mombudan. Oh, with a bear peeking out. Are you gonna focus for me, camera? There we go. I don't know, there's something about this design that they come in the little cases. I just really like that they're little displays. Tiny baby sweets, gotta love them. Next, oops, it's upside down. We have a BT21, zoom, little blind bag here. Last time we got Koya, and I think we got Cookie before that. I'm trying to learn their names, guys. Oh, Mang, Mung, how do I pronounce that correctly? Mung, maybe? If it's Korean pronunciation? I actually don't know. Let me know. I've definitely seen all these characters. Like when I go to Tokyo, when I walk by the... Sorry, I know that plastic sounds, sound is loud. Loud? That plastic sound is loud. Um, when I go to Tokyo, when I walk by the Line Friends store, I always see their stuff. Cute! Since I have quite a few of these, I want to make a little display like Maybe like a shadow box type display. I think that'd be cute, right? Next, next, next. We have the Tokyo Disney Sea 20th Anniversary Land Box. And these are all different Mickey figures. I can't remember if I got two or three of these, but I think we got Grand Opening Mickey in the past. This was kind of a pricey blind box, but Disney prices, you know. I'd really like the 10th anniversary one. Let's dive in. Can you hear Elle's tippy tappies? Nope, destroy the box. Oh, wait, who did I get last time? Was it this one? I'm gonna have to go back and watch my own video. This is definitely grand opening Mickey. My brain, guys, I can't remember if I have doubles or not anymore. <laughs> this is a really nice figure though. For some reason, I feel like I have not seen this. I don't know. Maybe one of you can remind me if you've seen me open one of these in a past video. Ooh, it says grand opening here on the bottom. That's cool. You know what anniversary it's from. Alrighty, continuing on. Looks like we have a little breb gotcha. Also, do you think I should throw gotchas into the magical blind box next year? Because I feel like I have been doing more gotcha themed videos, gotcha capsules. We do the gotcha hunt. And then every month I open all the full sets I get in a video. Should magical blind box go back to just being blind boxes and blind bags? I would love to hear your thoughts. Here we have a little panda squishy. It feels like a little makeup sponge. It's very squishy. It's kind of flat though. All of you need to subscribe if you're not already and come back because next month we're going to be going through all of the stuff that I've opened. We're gonna organize and de-stash. So I have more of these and I think it'd be cute to put them all together. Maybe we'll work on making some displays for them. Maybe I will de-stash them. And I have, I have a lot of fun plans, so stick around. We are back to the part where I'm not gonna know characters' names, but I did buy these because they were on sale at the supermarket. Usually these are like two, three hundred yen. I don't remember how much they exactly are, but they were like a hundred yen each. So I grabbed them because kunats are cute. The names are on here. Oh, they're on the back too. This is Cookie. Wait, is this a different color scheme than the, the, the Cookie keychain? Actually not, they're both pink bunnies. Oh, look at the little hat. Do, do people wear these hats to sleep nowadays? So, um, hard to show you from this angle, but these are little figures. You can knock them over and they stand back up again. I have a bunch of Disney ones and Pokemon ones too, I think. Let's go ahead and open the other one. I think I grabbed all they had, so... Oh no! <laughs> are you guys seeing what I'm seeing? No! It's Cookie again! I'll leave this one in the little baggie. That will be part of the de-stashing too. I'm gonna have all my doubles and I have a few fun ideas for how to distribute them to those of you that have been asking about maybe purchasing or trading for them. So again, join my Discord. Stay tuned. It's gonna happen. I just have a lot of things to plan. Next, and I think last gotcha for today, it's um, an inner tube. Oh, it's Score Bunny. 
how many of you are playing the new Pokemon game? I have not purchased it. Um, there are a lot of games I want to play and the Pokemon game is very tempting. I kind of want Scarlet, though because purple is my favorite color, I kind of want to get Violet. There's so many other games I want to play right now and I never finish Pokemon games, so I think it can wait. Plus I heard there are a lot of bugs. Right now I really want to play Splatoon. Alrighty, here is Score Bunny in a cute orange inner tube. Again, if you've been following along for the past year, we've been opening some of these here and there. These will go quite nicely on my toy shelf in the summer. Ta -da! Speaking of, speaking of Splatoon, do you like how I segued into that? It was not intentional. I just really like Splatoon. I like to talk about it a lot. Um, let's open the weapon collection blind box. This is from one and two. I hope they make a three one once like all the weapons are out. That would be cool. And the little posable figures with the outfits. I hope they make another one of those. Here we have, ooh, the Octo Brush with a very neon color. There it is. And then we have the stands. Let's try not to lose this little piece. And then the sticker. I think these should just come off. Okay, maybe we'll rip this one. There we go. Very neon. I love looking at these figures because you can take a closer look at how they're put together. Here is the stand in here. And I'm gonna assume it goes like this on its side, do you think? Or flat? Maybe flat. Or maybe, oh, probably like this, huh? Oh, wait, nope, it doesn't like that. I guess like this. I don't know. Let me look at the box. Oh yeah, it is supposed to lay down like this. Let's open the other one. What do we not have yet? I guess we'll find out. Ciao! What is it? What is it? What is it? The roller? Looks like it. Okay, I think I have all the parts. Oh, I'm dropping them. Here's the roller. How does this work? I think it goes on here. There we go. I think that's right. There's a little handle here. Does everyone that plays Splatoon go through a roller phase? Because I know I definitely did. The box says to display it like this. That's pretty cool. Don't fall over. Last but not least, we have the Pokemon Rement, the Petite Fleur. Fleur. Extra. Oh wait, what does extra mean? There are six different designs. Um, I like all of those. And I like all of these. Oh, Yamper and Pikachu are really cute. Um, I mean, I love Sobble. I love my little water starters. They're all really adorable, so I feel like I'm gonna be happy with any of them. Shall we dive in? Oh, oh, it's the little whipped cream. Mahoip. I don't think that's the English name though, is it? These are so cute. I really love the little twin stars one I got. Here's the bottle. I think you take the lid off and it, oh wait, there's a stopper on the bottom too. You take that off and it opens. And the Pokemon. Let's see if I can figure this out. And then this, there's a little peg. I like how 3D it is. Then there's a sticker. I'm not gonna use it yet. Put this on, a little ring on the bottom here. Keep it shut and the lid. That is so cute. These are honestly so perfect for the toy shelf. And so that brings us to the end of today's episode. I hope you all enjoyed and that you will come back to see the 
mega unboxing. We may have one more Magical Blind Box video before that. We shall see. But like I've been saying, join me on Discord, follow me on Twitter, subscribe so you can see my community page because I'm going to have lots of fun little tidbits and news and potential giveaways and contests and stuff going on. So I don't want any of you to miss out. And I will see you all next time. Bye! Hey y'all, welcome and welcome back to my new Magical Blind Box video. Today, we are going to be opening some blind boxes. Now we'd open this Pokemon Terrarium. Terrarium. I had a request for some BT21 blind bags and gotchas, so I found this. A Sumikokurashi blind bag, some gotchas. And some more gotchas. Before I start opening, I want to say a big thank you to those of you who sent me coffees and super chats and stickers. A big thank you to Kim, you're a bacon, love that name. And Lulu and Sarah, thank you so much. Your support means a lot and helps me continue making these videos. Anyway, let's start with this. I believe this was a gift from a friend that I got a while ago. It's a plush, I think. I thought it was a figure. Let's go ahead and open this up. The glue is very sticky. Here we go. As you guys saw, oh, sneak peek. There are different designs. I see pink, so I'm gonna assume it's that one. But I was gonna say the strawberry one's really cute. Oh wait, we got the strawberry one. I guess that's pink too. I wasn't looking that closely. I just saw the pink in my eyes went straight to that. This is adorable. Let me open it up. Who needs scissors when you have long fingernails, right? She's so cute. I think I had a Hello Kitty. It was a figure like this from like a Happy Meal that I used to keep on my backpack when I was younger. It reminds me of this. I love this outfit. Continuing on, we have a gacha. I believe this is a Animal Crossing sound drop. We've been opening a lot of these lately. I don't know how many more we have. This is actually a pretty big set. These are really cool though. So if you haven't seen them in past videos, you're gonna have to check them out, but also maybe I can post a video showcasing them because they're really cool. So here's today's. Let's pull the tab out and see what sound it is. It's Tom Nook. What do you guys think it's gonna be? Oh no, please don't tell me you're dead. It has been in there a while. No! I think I can replace the battery though. Well, I don't have any button batteries right now, so I guess I will be making a future video showing the ones I have. If it had been working, apparently it makes a chatting sound. Of course. Tom Nook and money. It's like a coin sound. Oh, it makes multiple sounds. Oh, it says, long hindsight, loan returned. Because, you know, it's all about that money. So here's a little sneak peek. I know we have KK Slider. I think we have the fishing one. And I know we have the crafting one. And I think we have the airlines one. Sorry about that not working. Let's move on. Here we have a Sumiko Gurashi trading card acrylic stand. And I'm kind of obsessed with these right now. I opened 15 Spy Family ones and I'm trying to get a full set. Are any of you watching season two of Spy Family? Oh, doggy barking. I don't know what the Sumiko Gurashi ones look like, so let's take a peek. There's a stand. And... Ta -da! It's tiny! We have Shirokuma. Is there a film on this? These are so hard to peel off, but it's also very satisfying when you get them. There we go. Crystal clear. Well, oh, it's stuck to my finger. Huh, I don't think those were on the Spy Family ones. Cute! So I'm thinking for the toy shelf, maybe we have monthly themes. Obviously October should be Halloween, but I'm kind of behind and it's almost Halloween already. So maybe we'll do one for November, like a fall themed one. But I think it'd be cool to have like a Sumiko Gurashi themed one or like an anime one or Pokemon one. So if you have any theme ideas, leave them in the comments down below. Next, let's open this gacha. Looks like it is a re-zero figure, and I think we got Amelia from this series. It is so cute. They're little sleeping figures. Oh, we got Rem, actually. Again, I think this is a full set that I bought online and kind of chucked into the magical blind box, so we're opening them one at a time. Let me know how you guys like to see them, because I do have some more full sets 
of gotchas. Would you just like to see the sets or do you like seeing them randomly like this? She's so cute. I love Beatrice. Let's attach her head. She's holding her book. I think it's supposed to go like this because she's sleeping, you know? Adorable. But also, why does it look like her head's coming apart? I don't like that. <laughs> oh, I love her twin tails. So cute. We could totally have a sleepy theme one too. I bet I have a lot of sleeping figures because these kata, kata zun, I think is what they're called the series. They're all little sleepy figures too. And I have some Disney ones. I have Spy Family. And I think I have some more on the way. Continuing on, I have the Cookie Charm Cot. I guess these are charms. I know there was like a magnet series one. This was 242 yen. And they are the BT21 characters. I think I said this last time I opened a BT21 blind bag. I am not super familiar with all the characters, but I do know they're adorable and I am a fan of the music. So please forgive me and I'm trying to learn. I will learn because I mean, what's not to love about them? Today you guys are gonna have to help me out though and let me know who I got. Okay, how many? There's 15 different ones. The blind bag helped me out. It says cookie. I love these style charms. Back when Tsum Tsum was popular, I used to not collect, but there was a, I think it was a lottery, and they had the cookies of the different characters. They were really cute. These are so well made. It looks like icing. And then it's textured on the back like a real cookie. These are so good. And we got cookie. I got a few more of these to open, so let me know if you'd like to see them all at once. Another gotcha it says Pocket Monster Puka Puka Collection. Puka Puka is like the sound it makes when you're floating. Puka Puka. And who do we have here? Oh no, this is a generation I am not familiar with. It's Sarunori. What's the English name, guys? If you've been following for a while, you'll know we've been getting a few of these too. We got Sobble and Pikachu, I think. So now we have Sarunori. Is that, is, is it the same generation as Sobble? I'm gonna assume it is. There's the inner tube and ta -da! Super cute. This will be good for summer. I need to reorganize my figures and I kind of want to do them seasonally. That'd be cool too, right? But I think I should do like Pokemon, Sanrio, Disney. And I did a collection video a long, long time ago, but I think it needs to be updated because some of them are still like in just like Tupperwares and boxes. So maybe we'll go through those together. Alrighty, this is not the last one, but it is the one that I'm kind of very, very excited about. It is the Pokemon Starium series. It's not a terrarium, it's a starium. And honestly, I think I'd be happy with any of them. Pikachu and Eevee, Ponita, Porasuru and Mainang. Oh, actually, Fraigong. I, I kind of don't want that one. I got that one last time when I opened a swing one. Dendu. And then Mew. I would love Mew. So I think I want six. One, two, or three. Three wouldn't be my first pick, but it is really cute. Alrighty, let's open it up. This was 935 yen at Hobby Zone. It is a remint, but you know, it's a little bit different. It's not like the little miniature remints. Oh, I'm just gonna tear the box. Though I did say I was gonna start journaling with packaging and stuff, so I'll try not to damage the bottom part. Okay, here we go. The moment of truth. Oh, <laughs> we got Dendu. That's okay, it's still cute. Let's see if we can put this together. Here's the base piece, which is actually very, very nice. I understand why they cost so much. Oh, they're little stars. That's cool. Let's see, there's a little peg for the foot. And then I think I need to hold it because then it balances on this. Hmm, I don't know what order. Wah! Hold on, let me try to figure this out. There we go. It went on the outside. I was trying to put it on the wrong way. 
The stained glass is so pretty. You know what? This one's cute. I like it. Which one would you guys have wanted to get? I still kind of want Mew. Here, this can live down here. We'll scooch this over. There we go. We'll have a nice little Pokemon collection soon. I'll just put this here for now. Okay then, last but not least, I have these three gachas that I got at Tokyo Disney. And I wanted to open them together because they're from the Totally Mini series, which I think was from the beginning of this year. It's been a while, but I have three of them. So I want to open them together and see which ones I got. I really love the Tokyo Disney gotchas. So Totally Mini was a event. They did a little greeting parade and I think they had a stage show, which I never got to see, but they had costumes and songs from past shows. It was a whole ordeal. Minnie has a lot of fans. Now, you guys may know I am a Donald Duck fan, but we love Minnie Mouse too. So here is this one. This is from one of the summer shows and it's actually my first time taking a close look at this. It's really good quality. The paint job's really nice. Seems to be a lot of detail. And there's a little tag that says totally Minnie Mouse. Here's the lineup. Let's see, do I recognize all these? I think one's from Princess Days, Valentine Nights, Summer something, and then Tropical Splash. Uh, I know there's a mini o mini one, I think. And then Table is Waiting. A lot of good shows that have all ended. Let's go ahead and open the rest. I'm pretty sure peeking in, I didn't get any doubles, so that's good. I think this gacha was probably a 400 yen gacha. Could have been a 500 yen gacha, but I think it was four. That's how much the Disney ones usually are. The Disney Parks ones. In case I didn't explain it well, this is from Tokyo Disneyland. It's a theme park exclusive. Oh, this is from Princess Days. This outfit is so cute. Look at her doing the heart. It's so cute. And the last one. I hope they do a Donald event like this. That'd be so fun. They do celebrate his birthday every year, and not every character gets that, so I am grateful. But it'd be cool to have a throwback event like this. Okay, here we go. Oh, it's Tropical Splash Mini! I loved this show so much. If you all have a bit of free time, looking up Tokyo Disney shows or any Disney Park shows is a good way to spend an evening or a weekend. Minnie's Tropical Splash was an amazing show. It was from Disney Sea, and they, it was a summer show. You would, I've had many, many fun summers at Tokyo Disney. I think this one may be my favorite. I can't remember if this is a Soryo Kobu Mini or not. It's not the year that I was into Soryo Kobu. If it was, it could be a different summer show. They did a Disney Natsu Matsuri, like Japanese summer festival theme, for quite a few years. So. I can't keep all the costumes straight. And like I said, I'm a Donald fan, but, oh look, she's doing the same pose in all of them. I didn't realize that. Oh look it, they make my nails look good. <laughs> anyway, that's the end of today's magical blind box, but I'll be back with another one. If you have any requests, let me know, and I will see you all next time. Bye!